Hi there, welcome to another short from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. This is another manual we've got to add to our archive. It's the Regimental Officer's Handbook of the German Army 1943. So this gives a great insight into what the British Army understood about the German Army uh, at that sort of mid to late war period. So what sort of thing does it cover? Obviously remember this, thanks to our patrons, will be all available digitally online uh, at some point in the future, but this, these videos are just a quick preview. So we've got you know, the organization and outline of German infantry, armored division, German habits in the attack the, and the defense and withdrawal. Yeah, German habits. I think that's a great little phrase there. Uh, yeah, what do we th what do we think they do very often? Tactical signs and then German weapons, infantry, artillery, anti-tank and heavy smoke mortars and projectiles. So this is um, you know, so it's all the layouts of uh, an organization chart for their grouppers, the Zugs. Uh, yeah, their equivalents of sections and platoons. And then we've got uh, the fact that the German rifle company there with their 12 LMGs, so that's GMG 34 or 42 in the light roll. Um, the machine gun company, machine and gewehr company, um, which has also got the medium mortar platoon. So you can see how we're mixing the machine guns and the mortars there. They're doing it at a company level, whereas the British were doing it at a battalion level. Um, infantry battalion, what's in there? So where have we got MG companies with our MMGs? So we're calling them MMGs, but actually, if you notice the S next to the uh, next to the machine gun mark there, that's the Schwer machine and Gewehr. So that's that they refer to it as the heavy machine gun, uh, but we it's equivalent to our medium machine gun role. So yeah, so infantry division, Panzers, medium squadron of armored. Armour div there, tank regiments, all really good stuff, uh, some sort of narrative to go with that, and then let's say their habits, how are they likely to attack, uh, you, you know, lessons we've learned up to, from either our own combat in North Africa I suppose, or what we're seeing in Russia uh, with the Germans doing stuff there. Um, German habits in defence, blah blah blah, and then we towards the back we've got these great signals, uh, signals and signs of the German army. Um, what have we got? Different guns there. MMG sign. Um, oh, they're superseded. So we've got old stuff in here as well as the current. That's interesting, isn't it? Uh, German weapons then. Infantry weapons. We've got the rifles. And what do we know? The machine guns. So MG34 on bipod. MG40, uh, MG34 on tripod is what they're, we're calling the MMG. Uh, and then the MG42 is there to replace the MG34. Uh, different rates of fire, so we knew that. And we knew that had no provision for single shot by this point as well. So, yeah, we, we're sort of quite genned up on what they're doing. Um, and it's interesting just to see this, that it would have been available to uh, battalion-level officers uh, ahead of what we had in 1944. I'm not aware whether there's a later version that perhaps built on our experience of Italy, uh, but this certainly would have been available for Sicily, invasion of Italy, um, and then the invasion of Northwest Europe. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to, and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.